Tommy, straight back into the Saturday, Tuesday routine. So what are your thoughts ahead of our visit to Ebbsfleet tomorrow night? Well, I think it's the best thing that can happen to us. I think we all realise we were a little bit flat. Um, not really what I would class as our, our, our kind of performance on Saturday for a large part of it. So, yeah, I'm hoping the lads want to react and show, show that was just a one-off. Have you seen enough on the training ground today to, to think that they will be up for it tomorrow? Yeah, it's always a little difficult when you have the quick turnaround because obviously you've got to look after the lads who started and played the whole game. But in the same breath, you've got to you know put ideas into their head regarding the next opponent. So, yeah, we've had a really good morning. Everybody returned you know, fit and well in terms of the, the group that were involved on Saturday. And, um, yeah, we, we go there just, just sort of dusting ourselves down and licking my wounds, if you like, but we've got to have a reaction every time... You know, there's a, a reverse. If there, ever, if there ever is a reverse, you've got you've got to come back positive, and this is no different. You know, I don't become a a bad chooser of players on one way, and, and the next day I'm I'm going to change dramatically to make me any better. And the players don't become bad players overnight. So, look, I, I don't lose faith, um, and I don't get as emotional as some people do with actual results. The performance was what more, more is more important to me as as a in its entirety and I didn't think it was good enough on Saturday so like I said um, it's likely there might be a change or two but it's not going to be massive drastic changes because I'm not one of them blokes who you know blame individuals and go right well that's your fault you're not playing anymore it's, you know it, we're a collective when we win we're a collective when we draw and we're certainly a collective when we when we don't win I know when we're looking ahead to the next fixture, you normally say we're just focused on the short term and who, what's up next. But when you look at results and, and what's just happened, is it more maybe a long term thing and, you know, looking ahead at what's going to happen throughout the season as opposed to focusing more on one result? Well, I think you have to. If you, if you start looking ahead of yourself, you can, you can lose what's right in front of you. So, you know, there'll be an expectation because of how we started as a club this season and how they have. But it's irrelevant, you know, when, it, when the whistle goes the gloves are off and it's, an, it's another contest and if you're looking at what's beyond that then you're going you're gonna to take your eye off the prize so we I know I say the same thing or most most times I speak to you about we really are only concentrating on this one you know once 10 o'clock on Tuesday night comes then we'll be thinking about the next opponent so I won't change the way I approach the game I won't change the way we prepare for the games um, and as long as the lads get back on the on the bike if you like and and ride the way we normally ride, then I can't see being too many problems between now and the end of the season. And looking at tomorrow's opposition, there's a well, there's a lot of ex shots, isn't yeah. there, within their ranks? A couple of which you'll have had under your um, reign. So you know, does that make things a little bit easier? I know the fans will be knowing what to expect under Danny Sell because they'll have seen it at the EBB Stadium. But yeah. you know, when with with a couple of those players, will you be knowing what to expect? Well, we know the individuals that we we've had whilst I was here, but ultimately they're part of a different group and. You know, Danny will have his team set up the best he feels can can get him a result and will be the same. So it, it doesn't make any difference to me that some of them played for all shot. They don't anymore, so I don't give that any sort of second thought. I'm sure there's a little bit of sentiment between fans and, and players who were here before I was. And, you know, that's that's fine. They can be remembered as fondly as they want to be. But during the game, I'm sure that the shots fans will, will not be cheering the lads in the Ebbsfleet shirt. They'll be, want, they'll be cheering the... The lads with the old shop badge on the chest. So that's that's you know we're going into their backyard. We want to do exactly what what Rochdale did to us. They turned up with a really good game game plan, and they stifled us. And we've got to we've got to go there and put our game on Ebbsfleet. It's as simple as that. Well, we saw how good Ebbsfleet can be when we visited there last year, didn't mm -hmm. we? So we know we'll, we'll be going to, into that with that fresh in our mind. I'm sure. Well, yeah. I mean, look, people who. We're here last season and played in that game. We'll remember it, but there's a lot of lads who weren't here, so it's it's new territory for them. But but ultimately, you know, both teams want points on the board for varying reasons at this moment in time. Um, so we're expecting nothing other than a real tough encounter. Um, and we, we've come, I've come up against Danny before, and his, his teams are well set up, and it, it won't be an easy place to go. I can tell you that. So it's up to us to try and, like I said, impart our will on them more than they can on us. And usually, when that happens. Nine times out of ten, the better team wins.